I love what I do. And I know you do too. Like, I love it so much that when I see people go, oh, I just wish I could have work-life balance. It's like, no, no, I, I like my life and my work, we're all kind of blended together. And I think people have that opportunity now more than ever. There are people out there that need to learn just from you. There's a whole group of people that need your voice. They need to shorten the curve from where they are to where they want to be by learning from your experience. I feel like it's an obligation to share, but the cool part is you can turn it into a lucrative, impactful business. You just need to know how to do it, and that's what we're going to share. Hey, Chandler Bolt here, and joining me today is Dean Graziosi. Uh, you've probably heard of him. He's a man who needs no introduction, but I'll give one anyway. Um, he's written multiple uh, New York Times bestselling books. Um, I, I like to say he's, he's the mastermind behind mastermind.com. Uh, he's pulled a lot of things together there. He's been a part of a ton of different companies. Um, I mean, you may remember way back from episode 60 of the podcast, actually. On that episode, we talked about how he sold over a million copies of a book through an infomercial which I think is the only podcast episode we've ever had talking about infomercials. So that's a really fun one. Maybe go back and watch that one. That just shows uh, and, my age. <laughs> uh, say what? That just shows my age. <laughs> 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 so we also talked about um, how he's selling 5,000 copies a week through the free plus shipping funnel. So that that was that podcast. We're not going to talk about any of that stuff today, uh, but he's played a ma major role in starting or growing over 14 successful companies. He's partnered with folks like Tony Robbins, Matthew McConaughey. If you've seen big virtual events with big names, chances are either he was the mastermind behind the scenes, uh, pulling it all together or was a part of it. So I'm really excited. We're going to talk about building a knowledge-based business. We're going to talk about this virtual event strategy. We're going to talk about an exciting event he has coming up that you're going to want to register for. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. We'll dive in. Dean, welcome. Great to have you here. Uh, good to be here, man. It's been fun watching what you do. You're doing a fantastic job. You know, uh, the opportunity for people to share their life experience, their knowledge, their ideas, their passion, their stories through books, through courses, through training. You know, my side is the courses, the trainings, the workshops, the mastermind. Yours is just a, a, an intricate part of that client path of, of helping people get that thing that's been in their soul for so long to, to create a book. I, I, it's been fun watching you, man. You're doing a fantastic job. Well, I appreciate that. I think that's why this dovetails so well. And we'll work really, I mean, we'll just like, we'll really resonate with our audience because we got a lot of people who are like, Hey, I got the book thing done. Now what? What's next? And what's next? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. And so, you know, there's many people that maybe they start with the business and then reverse an engineer with the book, but we've got probably two to three times as many people who said, Hey, the book is kind of like me. The book is the first step. I don't really have this crazy master plan after that, but I know it's going to lead into the next thing, into the next thing and the next thing. And so I guess, um, kind of before we start, um, I, I would love, uh, so guys, uh, coming up in June, uh, we've got a big event. Um, Dean is hosting a huge event with Tony Robbins uh, called The Game Has Changed. It's June 13th. You're going to want to register. We'll talk more about it, but I just, in case you pop out of this episode at some point, which are crazy if you do, but um, in case you do, uh, go to selfpublishing.com forward slash game changer. So selfpublishing.com forward slash game changer. Go ahead and register for that event. Again, we'll talk about it later, uh, but register, we'd love to see you there. Um, Dean, I'd love to start with kind of this knowledge-based business concept. Yep. You're super passionate about it uh, and just uh, building a knowledge-based business. Why is this something that you're so passionate about? Well, you know, I, I mean, <clears throat> it's probably got a lot of resemblance to what you share. I mean, we are in the knowledge economy, right? It's a, it's a billion dollar a day industry. It's not being fueled just by Chandler and Dean and Tony Robbins. It's being fueled by everyday ordinary people that have a story to tell. They have a life experience that can help someone else. They have a skill that they've developed. They've went through a mess and they're on the other side. And that's what, you know, I mean, it's the industry Tony's been in for 44 years. I've been in for almost 30. Between the two of us, we got 74 years in this industry. But never has there been a time, Chandler, with technology, with AI, AI with help to allow you to shorten the time to results continuum, right? Like I think now of what used to take me months, maybe six months or a year to do, I can do in an hour, right? And 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 the other thing too is the demand is so high. This industry, call it the self-education industry, the knowledge industry, the information industry, whatever you want to call it, there's lots of names, the upskill industry. It's an industry that's growing geometrically. It's growing exponentially because the world has 
the world has realized I could experience it through my own trial and error. I could potentially go back to college or I could find someone that can shorten the gap. If I want to write a book, I go to Chandler. He helps me. I could do it on my own. I could think about it. I could hope to have it or I could go work with Chandler and he could take me through a process to get a book done and have a great chance of it being a bestseller. People are choosing that. They're choosing specialized knowledge. And you know, the, if you want to know the real reason that, that we're doing this at the level we are and we're doing a big free event, to show people how uh, to take this to another level is Tony and I, Tony Robbins and I have been friends for about 12 years. And every time we got together, all we talked about is how self-education, that was the word we used, changed, saved, saved our lives. Jim Rohn saved his life when he was 17 years old. He went to an event and it just shifted everything for him. When I was 27 years old, I bought Tony Robbins course. I was already, I was in a collision shop. I had an auto sales. I had a tow truck. I was working my tail off and I got Tony Robbins information. It shifted my life forever. So much so that I decided to go in that industry. So we always talk about how, where we always joked, we'd be saying, you want me to supersize that meal for you. Not that I'm knocking anybody who works at McDonald's, but we used to joke like, if we didn't find this industry, where would we be? And then about five, six, six years ago, we said, why don't we give back? We've been doing this for so long. We're still doing it bigger than most. Why don't we pull back the curtain and show why now is the time to extract that asset called life experience and turn it into a product. You do that through a book. We do that through courses and coaching programs and workshop and showing people that they do have that asset. They can extract it. It is valuable. They could sell through service and turn this into a real business, not some pie mm -hmm. in the sky to get rich for doing nothing, but a real mm -hmm business with no glass ceiling. So I, I know that was a long answer to a short question, but it's just one of those industries that allows work-life integration. Right. I, I, lo I, get to, I love what I do. And I know you do too. Like I love it so much that when I see people go, oh, I just wish I could have work-life balance. It's like, no, no I, I like my life and my work, they're all kind of blended together. And I think people have that opportunity now more than ever. So that's why we're doing this. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I mean, I think it's, uh, you took the words right out of my mouth saying it's what we teach is just a different, different mechanism for the same outcome. It's bringing leverage to what you're doing. <laughs> and so yeah. we, I'm sure you talk to people all the time with the same thing. It's like, hey, I want to go from one to one to one to many. And so if yep. you're helping people in any way, whether it's one-on-one -on -one coaching or whether it's one-on-one -on -one services, there, there's no, that's very, that in itself is very helpful, but then they'll reach just kind Not of the scaling. ceiling where there's diminishing returns and there's no leverage, right? So whether it's a book, whether it's a virtual event, whether it's an online course, whether it's, you know, all, all those things that, that give leverage, right? So then you kind of go from one to one to one to many. And yeah. it, in my mind, it's the logical next step to take what you're doing and crystallize it into something that brings leverage. And so I guess I want to talk about the partnership stuff and the virtual event stuff and all that. But I guess first, how do you see books fitting in with the knowledge-based business stuff? Oh, it's a, it's a great question. I was hoping you asked me this, yeah. right? I was hoping you asked me this. You know, th there's somebody said, the other day, my wife and I were at dinner with one of her family members. Says, so what do you do? You, you probably get that all the time. So what do you, what do you do? It's like, you help people write books. Do you write it for them? Are you an author? Are you an editor? Right? So, and I said, it's really this, if you have a business and you don't have a digital or an information product attached to your business or a book that gives you next level credibility that allows you to stand out, you're missing out. And, and if you don't, have, either the product could differentiate you or the product could be something that's sold. Right. I, I was, my my wife owns uh, a hair salon. That's how I met her. She was the top hair salon, uh, hairstylist in Arizona for like 10 years straight. And um, I said, so we're sitting at the table. I said, oh, my wife's hair salon. You teach, I'm going to give this example because it's just fun. I said, you teach the girls, her manager does now, but you teach the girls and, and when they're done giving a haircut to say, hey, would you like the shampoo? Would you like the conditioner to take it home? I said, what, $10 bottle? What do you make, two bucks on it? She goes, eh, maybe three. I said, what if you taught those girls at the end of everyone, at the end of every appointment to say, hey, um, Lisa, that's my wife's name, created a course on how to keep your hair young, to, to keep it alive, to keep it ex like everything they want to do. And you filmed the course and it was 40 bucks. And every time they did it, instead of selling a bottle of shampoo that you make mm -hmm. two, you could sell a course that allows them to go home and take care of their hair, put the right stuff on it and treat it well and help with Propecia and all the things that my wife has figured out. That's why she's so good. My wife's, she, we were at dinner table. She hit me. She goes, why didn't you tell me that sooner? I'm like, well, babe, I'm just using that as an example. So some of you watching, you need to add a book or a digital course or a, a program or a coaching program to your current business, no matter what it is. If you're in the financial service business, you should write a book or do a training on what, how to pick the best financial service or how to pick the best real estate agent, or how to buy the right house. So a bolt on for every business. But if not, a book and then courses and training can be the business. It can be the thing. So I, I'm going to give you a story based in reality. 
about 10 years ago, 12 years ago, I created a course called The Winning State of Mind. And I was just starting to be friends with Tony Robbins. We were talking about stuff. He's like, you should do a course on that. So I did a course on The Winning State of Mind. And I shared all the secrets, the habits that I had learned in my years of watching habits that didn't serve people and habits that did. My parents had habits, but my parents' habits had them married and divorced nine times. And had my dad always broke and my mom working three jobs. I'm not criticizing my parents. They had habits. They just weren't right. So I recognized that people with a different state of mind and different state of habits did different things. So I created a course at Chandler and it went viral and went great. It sold like crazy. When I was looking at it, I'm like, wow, this would make a great book. So picture a course first. And I took the, the, the in a course you'd call them, you know, the each module. I took the modules and I made them in the chapter and I wrote Millionaire Success Habit. It was based after the course, but mm -hmm. way more people. I, mm -hmm. I sold a million copies of that book. Way more people bought the book than the course because it was only a $19 book. But so mm -hmm. many people got the course that the, the book that they wanted the course. And then so many people got the course, Chandler, that they were saying, hey, I love the principles, but I can't stick to it on my own. Can I get some coaching? So we created a coaching curriculum based on the book. So now I had a book, a course, and a coaching program. Then the people in the coaching program started doing so amazing. We ended up doing a hundred thousand dollar a year mastermind for the top players. And we ended up putting a good chunk of people in there, all of it based on similar concepts. Mm -hmm. So the book and the course were kind of, I taught you everything I know, do it on your own. Mm -hmm. The coaching was more like, Hey, let's do it with you. And the mastermind, let's do it together in the same room. Mm. So when you say, how do they go together? They're so similar in this evolution. If you have a book, there is McConaughey. I read his book, Green Lights. I know he's a neighbor of yours, right? Or in the yeah. same neighborhood, right? Yeah. I read Green Lights. I got done. I'm like, oh my, that book was fire. I don't know if you liked it. I laughed oh, my good, ass man. off. It's so good. It's I the audio book. I'm like, come on. Oh, when the audio book was over, I was like, no, I want more, right? So I got done listening to this book. I'm like, this would make such an unbelievable course. So we had a mutual friend. I got a voice memo to him. And uh, he's like, I'm interested. Let's jump on a call. So we went through it and we ended up taking the principles of the book and we filmed it right in the studio where I'm filming this, the podcast right now. We filmed mm -hmm. it in here. He came down a week before we spent a week going to every piece and, and man, he, he created a course that was unbelievable. We ended up doing a big old challenge and a live event with two and a half million people in it. So tens of thousands of that and people loved it. They went crazy. So it was a book to a course. And then I called them about a month ago. I'm like, there's thousands of people asking if you could have a coaching program to help them, right? It's this, not, not that I'm saying he's going to do it, but it's this natural evolution. So if you're, if you got a course, you should write a book. Mm -hmm. And if you got a book, you should, you should create a course around mm -hmm. it. So that's, that's just my opinion. If you have a business, you got to bolt it on. If you don't, this could be the business. Yeah, that's really good. And it's an ecosystem that plays together. And so I think a couple things that I would double click on in what you said, one is the, if you've already have a course, well, then you've already read the book. You just, right. And mm -hmm. so reverse engineering and then kind of like you said okay now that drove a lot of demand for the course so it's a way to drive demand to the exact thing but then uh the other thing that i love that you said is is making it approachable for people who automatically think course info product not for me the salon example i think is just a really great example because it's very easy to say hold up dean i run a salon <laughs> like yes. this does not apply to me and i think it's a uh, I always tell people it's about, uh, there's this human condition where, you know, you hear a sermon or you hear a talk or someone gives you advice and you say, oh my gosh, Dean, that's really good advice. The only problem is that's not going to work for me, but I know yeah. who I'm going to send this sermon to, or I know who I'm going to send this talk to. And meanwhile, it's you, right? You're the one that needs to hear it. And so I think yeah. I love how you broke it down to just say, hey, brick and mortar business. This is even a bolt on that you can add to your existing brick and mortar business. So I hope the people that are listening to this right now are watching this are thinking about if you do have a brick and mortar business, what is that thing? And oh, by the way, it's a lot more profitable. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, you know what I yeah. said? I just said this the other day. So I, I was skiing with my son and tore my ACL, right? So trying to, trying to keep up with my 15 year old oh, this no. winter. And um, so I'm going through physical therapy right now. And so he's this, and, and fortunately he's an awesome dude, comes to my house three days a week, working on my leg. I'm trying not to do surgery, but I don't, anyway, long story short, he's, he finds out what I do, do. And he's now he's like all in when he, and I could tell once he Googled me, he came in completely. He was like, yes, sir. I'm like, you Googled me. <laughs> like, like, you know, so um, long story short, he said, well, how would it fit in my life? I'm like, okay, are there things people can eat better? act better, 
different habits, different exercises that they should be doing when you're not there. I said, you were telling me about a supplement and an mm. app. I said, do you make anything on the app? He's like, yeah, a few pennies if people get the app. I said, wouldn't it be better if you had a home study course that you come into my house? This guy just does remote and he's, he does well for himself. I said, wouldn't it great? I would buy it. If you came to me and said, hey, I'll give you all these things, but I'm only with you two, three days a week. In the off time, I built a six section course or I do a monthly or a weekly live to make sure you're eating the right stuff so you don't have inflammation, to make sure you're exercising the right way, you sleep the right way, you act. I mean, he reminds me all the time that I get work and I put my shoulders forward. He's like, put your thumbs out put your shoulders back and put it back. I'm like, oh crap. I didn't realize I was like, oh, you know what I mean? So I said, why don't you create a course on that? And everybody you see, you go, you invite them. It's not a sales pitch. Say, hey, I just wanted to let you know if you want some at home experience. I spent the time, effort, and energy. I took the last 20, 10 years of my experience. I created a really powerful at home study course. It's, it's 99 bucks. It's 100 bucks. I said, you know what that would look like next year on your profit and loss statement? I promise you it will be the most profitable line on the whole thing because you don't have to drive anywhere. You don't have to pay gas. You don't have to have inventory. You don't have to put it in the warehouse. You already earned it through your life experience. Now express it and make it an additional product. He's home working on it. Like he comes in every day. Oh my God, I wrote the first section. I get this, right? And, and I know most people just never thought of that. When I, a great way to think about it. I'm just laughing, thinking about how physical therapy with Dean has probably become physical therapy mastermind with Dean. Oh, it is. No, and he's picking my brain. And I'm like, you know, I, I get 25,000 an hour when I consult and I don't yeah. consult anymore. So you should be paying me for this physical. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So I, I guess um, I, I want to ask a, a follow-up about book stuff. And then I want to move to virtual yeah. event. And I want to talk about the, the virtual event that's coming up that you guys are hosting. But have you ever done, I know you talked about going from kind of the course to book. Have you ever went from book to course for any of your things, uh, any of any of your books and courses specifically? And and maybe even just beyond that, what would be your advice for all the folks in our, our audience that are thinking, all right, cool, I've got the book done. Now I want to get, I want to take that next level and build a course on it. How would you do that in a way that it actually sells? Yeah, that, that's that's so powerful. Yes, I have. Um, the book that the book that sold a million copies through an infomercial showing my age, uh, it, it worked back then. So like, here's the best way to look at it. When you create something powerful, when I read McConaughey's book, when I got done, my thoughts were, damn, that was so good. What's next? Like, that's just the way my brain works. I guarantee you're the same way, Chandler. You watch something, you see something good, like, ah, what's next? You watch a great movie, like, I hope there's a sequel, right? So you write a book that impacts people, it moves them, it gets them to have a feeling, it gets them adjust, gets them to lose weight, live better, love better, whatever it is. When they get done with that book, people need help. So the best way I could describe it is, and I've asked this in front of, you know, tens of thousands of people, who in here has a gym member? Almost everybody raises their hand. Who in here goes on a regular basis? Most hands go down. I said, who, um, if you have a personal trainer who shows up every time and they all laugh, right? It's the same way. People will read your book and go, this is freaking amazing. You probably see it in your business, Chandler. People read your book. You probably give them everything they need to do their own thing. But what do they do? They reach out to you and go, hey, I'd love some coaching through this. I'm not going to do it on my own. I know I'm not. So it's the same thing. A book, the next evolution to a book is an interactive course where you're training. You're giving them worksheets. Say, hey, stop the video right now. Do the work. Let's get it done. Let's, let's get your first chapter. Let's get your headline. Let's get your chapter titles. Let's get the name of the book. Let's start working on the graphic design. Like we're doing it together. So it pairs so much because it's this kind of next evolution and it's the next evolution in price. You might go a, a $19 book to a $300 course, say, or whatever it is, right? And then some people are going to take that course and that's all they need. And that's why I tell everybody, don't hold anything back in your book. Don't hold anything back in your course. Give it all. Like nothing like, oh, wait, pay me more and I'll give you more. Like, mm -hmm. no, yes. give them all of it. But they're going to, some people are going to want what's next. So some people are going to go through the book and say, that's enough. Others are going to mm -hmm. say, what's next? Some people mm -hmm. are going to go through your course. This is how it turns into a business. They're going to go through the course and go, that's all I need. I got it. Other people can go, God, that's even better, but I need someone to help me. And that's where mm -hmm. maybe a coaching or a mastermind or a workshop or a monthly community comes in where you do it with them. And that's how this turns into a business. Yes. Yeah, that's great. And we're completely aligned on that because that's a question we get all the time. It's like, oh, well, hold up. If I'm going to have a course, and then I need to hold some stuff back in this book. <laughs> and, no, and no. No, you give away all of your best stuff for free and people will pay you to tell it to them again. And they'll pay you to help them implement, right? Because they 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 learn and they they see that, wow, this is really help. This is really great. And I need some help. I hope you're loving this episode so far. So if you're serious about writing and publishing your book, we would love to chat with you and help create a custom 
All right, so all you need to do right now is go to selfpublishing.com forward slash schedule. Schedule a 45-minute consultation with one of the experts on my team. All right, let's implement what you're learning in this episode and let's see how we can help with your book. Go to selfpublishing.com forward slash schedule. And so yeah, I think absolutely. that might be a good segue into, we'll talk some of the event stuff and some of the mastermind, but let's let's first start with the event that you got coming up. Um, so it's um, June 13th to the 15th. Um, it's the Game Has Changed event. Guys, you can uh, register for the event at selfpublishing.com forward slash Game Changer. Um, I know you're going to be building on some of this stuff and teaching people yeah. kind of teaching people some of this stuff. What do people have to look forward to um, at the event and who should go? So, so if anything we talked about today intrigues you, I'd say come. There, there's no obligation. It's, it's free to come. Um, you have the opportunity to play along for three days, two and a half, probably two and a half, three hours a day with Tony Robbins, myself. We got some fun guests coming um, that I think everybody will enjoy. But really what it is, when we say the game has changed, that's kind of an open statement, but the subhead should be, um, that's why it's time you have a new playbook for success. Like if the game has changed, that's great. We just need the new playbook. And, and like I said earlier, this has been almost 30 years for me, almost 45 years for Tony. We've been doing this every day of our lives and we still do the, the last 11 launches we did, I would bet to say are the 11 biggest launches the internet's ever seen a million to 2 million people. It's insane that, that register. And I don't say that to brag. I'm just saying we're, we're, we're still in this game hard. Right. And for the last 30 years of doing this, every year has gotten a little bit easier, but the game has changed exponentially in the last 12, months, right? We have the opportunity to have AI. We've just spent the last year loading in how Tony and I think into our proprietary AI that that you guys are going to, everybody watching them, they have the chance to use it and play with it, right? That thinks like Tony and I. So when you go to, and I am not a proponent of saying AI does everything. You need the personal touch. You need AI to get you off the blank page to go deeper, but it takes your personal touch that we teach. Mm -hmm. But basically what used to take us months to do, we get, we're going to get done on day one. And when we say the game has changed, it's shortened that distance so much. It's taken away the complexity so much that someone with passion, someone with a desire to do their own thing, to have something that gives them more purpose in their life, we can get you on third base really fast. And then Tony and I are going to show you how to take it home. So when we say the game has changed, it just has changed completely. And I, and I believe a change like this, and I, I would bet you agree, uh, Chandler, that it comes around once in a generation where a shift so big happens, where you know an industry is going like mm -hmm. this, and all of a sudden it goes like this and right. you're either left behind wishing you got in mm -hmm. or you align with people that are a millimeter ahead of the curve. Mm -hmm. And I truly believe we are a millimeter ahead of the curve and why we have so many successful students j just like you do. So we're, we're, we got three days, day one, I'll tell you day one, why this, why now, why you, but in day one, you'll decide what it is. We'll take you through a process. You'll know exactly what you're going to share in your course, your workshop, your mastermind, just like Chandler probably teaches with, with the book, but you know, you're going to know what you're going to share, who you're going to share it to name it, have a solution, you know, ha know what problem you solve for people. And then you got Tony Robbins for probably an hour and a half to just rip your mind open, right? Like, so you go to bed vibrating of like, I know I could do this and I could sell this and Tony's got me a new story, right? Like that's how you're going to end day one. And then day two is my favorite day because I get to take away the mystery of selling and show people how to get people to say yes through service where you're not, don't feel like I got to do this hardcore sales webinar. Day two is like, I can invite people and sell them through service. And that's, you know, we've mastered that Tony and I over the last, you know, 70 plus years. And then the third day is how to deliver it with confidence and courage. So literally in these three days, we're condensing probably what used to take many workshops into three days. And I would just say, if you wrote a book, considering writing a book, you're in business, starting a business, it'd be crazy not to come and get three days worth of information from two guys who have been doing this for quite some time. Yeah, that's cool. It's gonna be really helpful. And and I mean, learning from the best about some really great fundamental topics, especially I love what you're saying around day two, because if you don't have sales, you don't have a business, you have a business idea. <laughs> right? True story. And so you, you got to be able to to make the cash register ring for a lot of people. That's where they get home. But the, the whole thing's gonna be amazing. So um, guys, register for the event, uh, selfpublishing.com forward slash game game changer. So selfpublishing.com forward slash game changer. Uh, that'll uh, take you where you need to go to get registered. It's going to be a powerful three days. Don't just register, but show up uh, and and learn and watch how they do it because these events, these events are just they're they're incredible. And there's it's 
It's amazing how you guys do this. And so I guess that's kind of maybe a good segue into talking about the event stuff. Sure. I guess first thing that I'm super curious about, this is just more of a selfish question, is how do you, I feel like one of your superpowers is coming alongside to partner with people that really move the needle. And I mean, you're obviously incredible at, at marketing, incredible at sales, the back end, like you bring a ton to the table, but then you come alongside people that is like, oh, cool, together we are going way higher. Whether it's Tony Robbins, whether it's Matthew McConaughey, whether it's, I know you've done it a bunch of times in your career. Yeah. How do you do that? Um, how do you, how do you make it so such a, cause I think the one that really blew my mind was Matthew McConaughey. Cause it's like, this is someone who is in a totally different world that doesn't do this stuff, you know? Yeah. And, and to my knowledge, it's the only time he's ever done anything like this ever. And so it's it like, is. how do you structure that in a way that where it makes sense for them? Or how do you just even get into the conversation? Yeah. So I, I would, that, that again, uh, the story I told is true. I got done reading that book. I'm like, damn, yeah. this thing is so good. I, I want to create something else. So I, I uh, had the opportunity to get him a voice memo, like I said, but how, how I align it is a really great question. You know, I'm, I'm persistent as hell. When I like something, I do it, but I, I try to do it with like, um, with grace, but persistence, right? Mm -hmm. And that's something that has nothing to do with writing books or anything. Just be more bold. Ask, ask more. Don't, don't ask for permission. Don't wait until you feel confident. Don't wait until all the ducks are aligned. Just freaking go, you know, mm -hmm. grow wings on the way down, jump out of the plane, grow wings on the way down. I told my team, I wanted to, I said, we're going to do an event with McConaughey in less than a year. We're going to create a course and we're going to get a couple million people to show up. My team was just like, oh, come on. He's never done anything. <laughs> and then, then I got to tell you, so fun story. He's an incredible human being. And I mean that he's a, he's a good man. His wife is amazing. The team he works with is incredible. But after our first meeting with everybody, you know, you're a Hollywood star, Academy Award winning. He's not like a B celebrity. He's an A plus celebrity. And you meet with a manager and a lawyer and the other two people. And they're like, you can't do this. You can't do that. Can't do this. Can't do this. We'll never do this. And I was like, all right, I know now I must do this. Right. And I just made sure each of them felt comfortable and made sure that everything was transparent. I didn't overpromise. But what I did say, and this is something I want everybody to hear, what you're going to learn on day two is we are in a place where we must deliver value in advance. I just want you to hear that. Like I know webinars, I've done webinars and webinars are great to give value and stuff. We decide to go live for three days or five days because we just want to make sure that if people come, if they're going to give us their precious time for three days, they're going to leave and go, that was the greatest time I ever spent. I'm so glad I went. And that's one of the things I sold McConaughey on. I said, hey, we're not just going to offer your course. We're going to put a day together where we deliver massive value. What would you like in this, in this crazy time where politics are dividing us and life is dividing us and you know interest rates are up and, and uh, inflation is up and it's a, it's a crazy time. I said, what would you love to give people? What would you love them? And we started from there. We worked backwards. He'd like, I want to give them more hope, but I want to give them a path and plan to the hope. All right, what kind of what kind of traditions or exercise have you done? To, oh, this is the way you journal this. So we worked backwards. We're just saying, how do we That's light cool. these people up and change their yeah. lives? And while they're here, if they want your course, cool. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of how we did that. And then I don't know if you want me to talk about the marketing side, but um, I would love that. that's how we yeah. started it. Yeah. And so I, let me just, let me just emphasize the point you made. And I'd love to come back to the marketing, yeah. um, on the events. So I, I think what's interesting is, is, is begin with value and how to add more value. And I feel like Dan Martell was mentioning this the other day about, he's like, every day I wake up and just think about how can I add more value? How can I add more value than anyone on the earth for the people that I'm serving? So my customers yeah. and the people in my world. And when you do that, your income goes way up. Um, Surely because does. it's like, Hey, you've already added so much value. Of course, I'm going to pay you and I'm going to pay you even more. And how do we work together? I mean, it's, it's a, it's the ultimate, I guess, pull versus push strategy is just adding more value. So I think that's, what's powerful about the virtual event model is it's a way where, Hey, in three days, you just show up, you get a ton of value. And then inevitably there's going to be a subset of people that are going to say, Hey, this is so valuable. Let's work together further. Right. Yep. And let's take the next step. Then inevitably from there, there's going to be a subset of that. Those folks kind of like you were describing with how you've done it, but then how McConaughey did it as, as well as just okay, now I want to go even further. And so I think that's why the model works real well. Let's talk about the marketing. I mean, two and a half million people watching this thing. Holy cow. How do you do that? What's kind of the, the marketing engine behind this to get people to register, to show up? Yeah. So the, the, the cool thing is I'm going to share a little of this on day three as well is the model. I've been doing the same model Chandler for almost 20 years. I used to call it a live cast launch and just years of fine tune. And it worked from live cast launch. I was one of the first to ever, you know, when the old sideways sales letter and Jeff Walker yeah. and that kind of thing, I was the first one to do it live. And I was like, you're creating and, and this live energy. And I just been doing that for 20 years of affecting live. Cause there's something about 
I don't know about you, but do you ever do a video and you're recording it and you can't even get your name out? Hi, this is Chet. Oh, that sounds, oh, this is Chet. No, right. Like you do it over a hundred times, go live. You don't mess up on any of it. Even <laughs> if it's not perfect, you're just yeah. in this momentum. So I think there's something about live. So we've, we've, we've been mastering the art of going live. And then we have something called going, uh, what I was going to say is day three, what I'm going to share is it doesn't matter if you're doing it with 50 people or 2.5 million. It's the same model. That's, that's all I want to say. Like the model I do for these big challenges and events and launches that you see, every single person watching could do it for their book. They could do it for their course. They could do it for their training. And how cool would it be if you got 50 book sales or 500 or 5,000, right? No matter where you are in this evolution, it works for all of them. And I look at it like, um, I call it going omnipresent. Meaning I think of every place I could possibly write for this challenge. I'm doing this awesome podcast with you right now. I'll do 30 other podcasts uh, to talk about the challenge and we will do ads and we will have affiliates and we'll do text messages and we'll do everything in our power to get it out as in many channels as possible. Now, We've been doing it a long time. Tony's got a great reputation. I do. McConaughey does. So that's an unfair advantage. But what we show you is you could start with one channel. You could start with Facebook groups where your ideal client on your book on publishing, there's Facebook groups right now about how to publish books where you could go spend time, meet some people and invite them over to your event. So at every level you're at, you got the opportunity to harness the power of people already interested in what you do. And if you get 50 sales, the next time, hopefully you get a hundred and then you get 200, then you get 400, right? Not overnight, but that's, that's the process. And as far as the marketing goes, we just get really creative. I've been doing it for a really long time. I think we do some pretty cool ads that, that really hit home and um, between our ads and our affiliates and our podcasts and all the things we do, we do it all in a short period of time. So I'm not marketing every week all year long. So different than most, I, we don't have an evergreen campaign going at a hard rate. So just a couple of times a year, we go big and go strong and we spend mm -hmm. lots of money on marketing and, and it's this groundswell. We also do a really good job. And I would encourage just to, at any level, 50 people or 500, we tell everyone, don't do this alone. Go get an accountability partner, get someone to do it with you. We get about a third of people. We don't know where they come from because they, we get this momentum of invite mm -hmm. and we create mm -hmm. cool assets for them to share with their friends. And we pre-write texts to send to their friends and start text mm -hmm. strings and watch parties. And mm -hmm. so a lot of variations over the years, but the fact of the matter is when you watch what I do on June 13th, just visualize your own version of that because mm -hmm. it works at every level. That's cool. So it sounds like there's some, uh, there's a lot of unique marketing behind it. There's obviously ads and affiliates or big needle movers. I like the referral um, strategy and building in virality. And so I'm just what, want to translate a little bit here for people who are still thinking through the book lens. You know, we talk about with your book, how do you, how do you increase your viral coefficient and mm -hmm. embed accountability into your book? So then if someone has an accountability partner, well, then they got to get the right. Or yeah, how that. do you, you know, you're selling into teams so that an entrepreneur buys the book and then says, you know, like I've bought probably a hundred copies of scaling up <laughs> for employees yeah. over the years. Right. And so it's just, how do you go from one to one to one to many, even your referral engine yeah. within the book or within the event. But I think what also might be helpful for folks to think about is if you've already done a book launch, you've coordinated a campaign that's probably pretty similar to running a virtual event. Hands down. <laughs> it's it's event-based marketing, right? And so it's yep. it's that similar type of push that you might do for that um, could translate over into the virtual event uh, side of things. And so I guess um, kind of kind of a uh, final question. Um, how yeah. do you do these events in a way um, that that lead to sales and that makes sure it's like a, it's a true needle mover? So if I'm thinking about this model for my books or for my business, um, how do you do that in a, in a way that converts well? Yeah, so it, these are great questions and probably ones I don't think about enough because I've been doing it for so long that it's it's intuitive at this point, right? I, I'm not creating a course on how to do it. I live it every day of my life yeah. for 27 years. And, and when you have 2 million people watching on day one, you can't mess it up because you're live. Like you don't get a second chance. You don't go, oh, mm -hmm. let's retake that, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's made me fine tune this craft. And here's what I'd say. I have a friend right now who's got a, he's doing really well. He's in this industry. He bought my stuff many, many years ago and he's doing fantastic. And he's doing his first offer from stage. And I was with him last week. Uh, we did a mastermind last week that you asked me about. And he said, how am I going to do this pitch? And he's a nervous wreck because he's making his first $30,000 off. He's like, how do I do the pitch? How do we do the pitch? I'm like, the problem, he goes, I've been watching other people's pitches. I said, you got the wrong terminology. I said, when people do an event and then have a pitch in the middle of the event, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. People are uncomfortable doing it 
And those on the other side are uncomfortable. It's like share, share, share. I, I would love for everybody to think, you know, I, I would be, I would be brave enough to say, if you're going to do an event, imagine starting an event and you hold up the book and go, Hey, a little later, I'm going to offer you this. But by the time we get to it, I, I hope I'm going to earn so much value and deliver so much to you that you're not, by the time I deliver it, you're going to be wishing I had done it sooner. But now let's get into deliver you value. Imagine if you had started with that and your whole day, two day, three day, whatever you're doing, the whole thing was about a through line of getting people to take action while you're delivering value. How are you slaying dragons on day one of, you know, I'm not going to, I can't write a book. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if I have a good topic. I'm not a great writer. I had dyslexia. All the things that you know are there. Uh, dragons to slay, their objections, you could see through the entire event. But my whole point was, it's not a pitch. By the time you get to the offer, people should be saying, this is so freaking good. I hope they have more. And mm -hmm. what can you do pre and post to enhance that so you don't feel like train, 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 ah, oh, pitch, train, train, train. Mm -hmm. So for us, what my whole goal is that we deliver so much value that just what you said, by the time you get to day two, you're halfway through, like, this is it. I'm in, I need to work with these guys. And then mm -hmm. we have the opportunity for people to work. With, right. Mm -hmm. So I, I know that wasn't a really specific answer. I didn't give you like the perfect webinar formula, but the fact of the matter is it's not a pitch. It is an, no matter how long your event is three hours or three days, the whole thing is designed as a sale mm -hmm. while you're delivering value. Mm -hmm. The smart and embedding it in the process. Well, a lot to look forward to at this event. Um, guys, uh, if you haven't already, uh, go register selfpublishing.com uh, forward slash game changer. That'll, that'll take you where you need to know or where you need to go. Uh, the event is called Game Change Live, three days, uh, June 13th, 14th. Don't miss it. You're gonna learn a lot at the event. And for me, as someone who runs these type of events too, I learn a ton just watching it, like how it, sh how it, how it runs and oh, oh, wow. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, they did it that way. They did it this way. And so I, there's just multiple layers and levels of learning uh, that you'll experience when you attend. So uh, check it out. Uh, I hope you enjoy the event. Dean, I guess the final question on my end uh, would be uh, what, what's kind of your parting piece of advice for people kind of thinking about taking that leap uh, to build out their own knowledge-based business? I would say there, there are people out there that need to learn just from you. Uh, Trent Shelton's a buddy of mine, and he says that all the time. He said, he goes, there's people that want to learn from Chandler and Dean and me and Tony, but there's somebody that needs to learn from you. And in today's world where this phone connects us all and we can find our ideal people, there's a whole group of people that need your voice. They need to shorten the curve from where they are to where they want to be by learning from your experience. It's almost, I feel like it's an obligation to share, but the cool part is you can turn it into a lucrative, impactful business. You just need to know how to do it. And that's what we're going to share. Cool. Well, I can't wait. Uh, this has been awesome, Dean. Anything else you want to say about the event and what people have to look forward to? No, just, I, I appreciate it, man. And keep doing what you're doing. The more that we could get people to realize that the greatest asset they have lives inside their brain. Uh, whether that's a book, a course, a coaching program, or a workshop. If they worked with you, fantastic. You want to work with us, want to work with both. I, I just say go do it because it's it's liberating. It's freeing. It gives you the opportunity to be in control of things that you weren't before. And, um, you know, being in this for so long and watching so many people's lives transform, it's it's addictive. And I know you're feeling that in your business. And it only gets worse, man. And you just want to keep <laughs> doing more and doing better. And we're going to reveal some technology that's really simple on this three-day event that's going to blow your yeah. mind. When we say the game has changed, you'll realize that it truly has. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing some of the AI stuff that you guys have done um, at the event as well. Uh, well, guys, one last time, uh, go to selfpublishing.com forward slash game changer, register for the event. We'll see you there. Dean, looking forward to it, man. Thanks so much. Chandler, appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for watching or listening to this episode of the Self Publishing School Podcast. I know there's so many places that you could be spending your time. There's other podcasts that you could be listening to, YouTube channels that you could be watching. So thank you so much. It means the world. Now, I want you to do three things right now if you found this episode helpful. I don't know if you know this, but we've got a YouTube channel. It's a companion channel to this podcast. All the video versions of the episode are on the YouTube channel. So number one, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Number two, if you're listening to this podcast, wherever, whether this is Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Number two, I want you to subscribe to this podcast right now so you don't miss a future episode. And then number three, this is probably the most important, leave a review on the podcast. All right, reviews are super important and help this podcast get discovered by other people. So number three, leave a review on the podcast. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next episode.